The Super 25 of North American Big Game was introduced in late 2011. Several GSCO members had written in with concerns about the difficulty in obtaining all 29 trophies necessary for the Super Slam, with the polar bear being the number one concern. Fact is that there are other trophies that present specific challenges as well, such as the Desert Sheep, Roosevelt, and Tule Elk, and of late even a couple of the Caribou have had tag numbers decreased dramatically. With these and other considerations in mind, we knew there needed to be another level above the Super 10. 20 didn't seem to be the right number, so we settled on the Super 25. To qualify for this new award, one has to have completed a Super 10, in other words, at least one from each of the 10 categories. After the Super 10, to qualify for the Super 25, a member can have taken any additional 15 trophies on the list. This new award has been well received, and as will be proven by the several recipients you're going to see here tonight. We'll be breaking these Super 25 holders into groups, so please hold your applause until everyone in each group has been introduced. As your name is called, please quickly make your way to the stage. Now for our first group to ever receive the Super 25. Dean Bauman of Alberta, Canada is up to 27 trophies on the Super Slam list. And of course, we're recognizing him this evening for the Super 25. We're starting with a few of his 2012 trophies, beginning with the Thule Elk, taken in August. In September, he got the Central Canadian Barren Ground Caribou, in October the Shiris Moose, and in November the Columbia Blacktail Deer. To say he was busy after North America's big game last year would be a bit of an understatement. 2011 was pretty busy for Dean as well, taking three trophies that year. To represent those, I want you to see his amazing woodland caribou from Newfoundland, taken in September. They don't get much bigger than this one up that way. We'll finish up with a great Yukon grizzly bear that he took in 2009. We want to wish Dean the best of luck getting the last two that he needs for the Super Slam, a Sitka blacktail and Roosevelt elk. As busy as he's been, he'll probably get that job done before the next convention. Van Bethencourt Jr. of Arizona is one of the most prolific hunters in the world. He's hunted extensively on every continent, but has certainly done a lot of hunting in North America, as evidenced by his being honored tonight for his Super 25. Matter of fact, he's up to 27 on the list and only needs a mountain caribou and bighorn sheep for the Super Slam. You've already seen some of Van's earlier trophies. First, his barren ground caribou from 1988 and next we're through in his 1994 muskox, then his 1997 Central Canadian Barren Ground Caribou. Next we want to show you three excellent trophies that he took in 2008 alone, the Thule Elk, the Canada Moose, and the Columbia Blacktail. We'll finish up by showing you his excellent woodland caribou taken in 2009. And check out the huge shovel on this guy. James Brogan of West Virginia was one of the very first people to register his Super 10. He was honored at our 2011 convention when we presented those awards for the very first time. James had well over 20 at that time and took number 24 in July of 2011, which was an outstanding Thule Elk. Number 25 for James came in September and it was the Woodland Caribou. Now having seen those two, let's back up to 2007 to take a look at his polar bear. Backing up even further, you're going to see a much younger James with his 1994 Rocky Mountain Elk. We decided to finish up with a couple of the big bears that James has taken. First, see his 1999 Alaska Brown Bear, and finally, his Grizzly from 2007. James has been a great supporter of GSCO, and it's an honor to get to recognize him for his Super 25. Larry Bull of Idaho left our 2012 convention and headed straight to Colorado for a bison hunt. You see the nice bull he got, and it's the trophy that got him to the Super 25. We hope you enjoyed Larry's 1962 Alaska brown bear photo. He took that bear self-guided back when it was legal to do that. Larry, that's been more than 50 years ago. Wow, <laughs> where does the time go? We now spring forward to a 1996 pronghorn, and as you would expect, Larry does look different there. He got an awfully nice mule deer in 1998, and we'll finish up by showing you his 1999 polar bear. Good luck, Larry, on getting those last four toward the Super Slam.
It was an excellent Sitka black-tailed deer from Kodiak Island, Alaska, that qualified Danny Donnell of California for the Super 25. After the Sitka, we're going to see a series of excellent trophies taken by Danny over the years while we explain a little about his Super 25. He has multiples of several of the trophies and has done a lot of hunting in North America. Danny has all the deer, all three elk, and all three moose. He's also completed Grand Slam number 1666 in 2011. Naturally, he has the single species with those being the cougar, American mountain goat, and pronghorn. He has both the bison and musk ox as well. If you were keeping up, you would have realized Danny needs two bears, grizzly and polar, and two caribou to reach the Super Slam. We'd like to say good luck to Danny and encourage him to consider the 2013 Rafflerama item number three for a chance of being able to go after the polar bear for the price of raffle tickets. Roman DeVille of Georgia has a Super 25 that was all taken in the decades of the 1980s and 1990s except one. He's only added two trophies to a North American list since 1999. In 2001, he actually took number 25, which was a Shiras moose from Utah. He added number 26 in March 2012, which also completed his Grand Slam. That trophy was a desert bighorn. Roman has hunted around the world, but he devoted a tremendous amount of time to North America in the two decades mentioned above. You've seen several of his early trophies already. He's going to be honored on Friday night for his Grand Slam and on Saturday night for his Triple Slam, which came by virtue of his Grand Slam Congratulations, Roman. Jay Fernie of Colorado has been a regular at all of our conventions over the last several years. He has supported GSCO in many other ways as well, and we're certainly pleased to honor him tonight for his Super 25. Jay does a lot of hunting, as you're seeing here from his photos. He's taken a total of 26 from the list as of this writing, and could have added some in 2012 that we don't know about yet. You saw that he's taken his polar bear, and that was when he could still bring it into the country in 2000. Again, you've seen several nice trophies, and we want to end with a whitetail that he took in Alabama on a GSCO auction hunt. Jay became a legend at Magnolia Lodge when he took this buck, as it been seen several times on the move, but no one could get a shot at it. Well, Jay's credited with having two seconds to make the shot, and he certainly did. Gregory Gallagher of New York completed his Super 25 in 2012 by taking a barren ground caribou. In 2011, he took number 24, which was a grizzly bear from Alaska. Greg's big year was 2010, as he added three trophies that year, and in 2009, he took a Quebec Labrador caribou. Well, that's enough for the recent years, so let's go back and show you some of his excellent trophies from the 1990s, such as his dry ground Texas cougar and his Texas mule deer from 1995. They're from the same month, so must have been taken on the same hunt. In 1997, Greg got a neat color phase black bear in Arizona. He traveled later that year to the frozen north to get a musk ox and central Canadian bear and ground caribou. Coming back a bit closer to the present, we finish up with two trophies from 2006, his Columbia black tail from Oregon and his outstanding Shiras moose from Colorado. Fred Hatcher of Kentucky only lacks one more trophy to qualify for the Super Slam, that being the Polar Bear. He recently added number 28, which was a bison that he took in 2012. Backing up, we find that he's been at it quite a while, as proven by the Alaska Yukon Moose and barren ground caribou that he took in 1970. He's continued to hunt extensively and has taken a few mule deer, but the non-typical you see here is certainly a looker. He's really gotten serious in the last few years, so we chose some of his best ones to show you, such as the Central Canadian Barren Ground Caribou from 2007 and an excellent Black Bear from 2008. He got his Roosevelt Elk in 2009 and we'll finish up by showing you his 2010 Canada Moose. Congratulations, Fred, and good luck on that Polar Bear as your last one. By the way, you did notice our 2013 Rafflerama Hunt number three could give you a chance to win that Polar Bear Hunt. For only the price of a ticket, We are most pleased to be able to honor this next gentleman, James Hutchison of Texas. A letter we received from James was one of the catalysts toward the formation of the Super 25 Award. 
Due to James' health issues, the doctors told him he'd die in the Arctic if he went to trying to get the 29th animal for the Super Slam. James listened and tells us he's most satisfied to receive a Super 25 of North American Big Game. James has been a Boone and Crockett scorer for many years and has been involved in conservation in many other ways as well. The way we decided to illustrate his Super 25 was by doing a sort of timeline of his hunting career from 1958 through 2005. We hope you enjoy seeing James' hunting career in photos. And once again, we're most pleased to honor this gentleman for a lifetime of hunting North America's big game. We'd like to show you one photo out of sequence, and that's James' 1990 Shiras Moose, which as you see, is outstanding. Idaho's Scott Jenkins has earned the Super 25 award by virtue of registering all the necessary trophies for that milestone. Scott's done a lot of bow hunting, and several of his trophies were taken with archery equipment. For example, the first photo you saw here was a bow taken pronghorn from 1987. That same year he took a bison, but he used a rifle for that trophy. Moving along to the decade of the 1990s, we wanted to show you his mountain lion from 1995. In 1997, he added the Canada moose to his growing trophy list. In 1998, Scott took both a coos deer and a Roosevelt elk, the elk being taken with his bow. And the following year, Scott used his bow again to add the woodland caribou. We want to finish up Scott's tribute tonight by showing you his excellent mule deer from 2004. Jay Link of Wisconsin has been a strong supporter of GSCO. He's been seen extensively in the pages of all three of our publications and has the Grand Slam, Ovis World Slam, and Capra World Slam. Well, tonight we're honoring him for yet another milestone within the GSCO family of awards, that being the Super 25. Jay's been a very active North American big game hunter since the early 1990s. You've seen some great trophies already for Jay. We want to honor him tonight by highlighting three unusual ones as we finish up. First of all, see his non-typical whitetail taken in 2004 that scored a whopping 207 SCI points. Next, you'll see that Jay took the Atlantic Walrus in 2011. The last trophy we want to show you is one of the finest imaginable examples of its subspecies. That's a glacier bear from Alaska, and Jay was so very fortunate to get this trophy in 2011. The glacier bear is a very rare color phase of the black bear and is only found on the southeastern Alaska coast. Congratulations, Jay, and thanks for your support over the years. That completes Group 1. Again, please make your way to the stage quickly. Now, for our second group. Everett Buzz Madsen of Nebraska certainly documented and recorded trophy big game animals with GSCO in a timely fashion over the years. Buzz has the Triple Slam, which of course is the Grand Slam, Ovis World Slam, and Capra World Slam. Well, tonight we're honoring him for his Super 25, and he started that quest in the 1980s. You saw a pair of his trophies from that period, the Pronghorn and the Mule Deer. As for the 1990s, we've shown you his Mountain Caribou from 1995, and also a Rocky Mountain Elk from 1996. Moving on to the first decade of the 21st century, we chose Buzz's 2004 Mountain Lion, and a very big whitetail that Buzz submitted from 2008. We'll finish here by showing you his polar bear from 2009. Buzz went after this trophy realizing he might never get to bring it back home, but he's accomplished the feat regardless. So good for you, Buzz. Larry Meyer of Wisconsin's only a Sitka blacktail, Quebec Labrador, and barren ground caribou away from the Super Slam. We're most pleased to recognize him tonight for his Super 25. The most recent trophy on his list is a Woodland Caribou from October 2012. However, he slipped in two more last year, with those being the Polar Bear in September and a Coos Whitetail just about a year ago in January 2012. As for 2011, Larry got three that year as well. Those were the Shiras Moose in October and Tule Elk and Columbia Blacktail both in November. Backing way up, we pull the 1982 Mountain Caribou and really backing up a 1977 pronghorn. We'll finish up this tribute for Larry with his 1997 Alaska Brown Bear, which you should see has a very rich chocolate color.
Jim Owens of Wyoming holds very early Grand Slam number 188, and that first slam was completed in 1976. The photo you see here of Jim and a terrific home state mule deer from 1982 actually has an old Grand Slam club shoulder patch on his jacket. Backing up to his Grand Slam year of 1976, we see that Jim got an Alaska brown bear and the rare glacier bear, which is a color phase of the black bear. He took another color phase of the black bear in 1978. Moving right along, we'd like to show you Jim's 1979 whitetail, 1981 musk ox, and 1982 bison. Even though we could show you some more recent photos as Jim has continued his hunting, we'd like to finish up with Jim's excellent home state Wyoming, Shiras Moose that he took in 1987. Thanks Jim for your years of commitment to the original Grand Slam Club and its successor, GSCO. It's a great pleasure to get to recognize Gail Sanders of California. This lady completed her Grand Slam number 322 in 1982. At that time, she was only the 12th woman to document a Grand Slam. She sent an outstanding file that includes several great photographs dating back into the 1970s. Matter of fact, Gail did the majority of her big game hunting in the 1970s and 1980s, and you're getting to enjoy several of those shots along the way. We're recognizing Gail tonight for her Super 25, but in reality, she has 27 on the list and would only need a polar bear and two Lee elk to have a Super Slam. Gail is actually the only lady so far to document a Super 25. And we finish up with Gail by showing a truly outstanding desert mule deer that she took in Sonora, Mexico in 1986. This beautiful non-typical scores 193 and 2 8 SCI. It's great to have you back this year, Gail. John Searles of Michigan has been after the North American big game animals for over 50 years. We can prove that by showing you his 1961 pronghorn photo taken here. And how about his 1964 mule deer? Moving along to the 1970s, we pulled his Canada moose from 1972. And to represent the 1980s, we picked his 1988 coos deer. For the 1990s, we first want to show you his excellent Shiras moose and mountain caribou that he took in 1995. And to finish up in the 2000s, you see his Thule elk taken in 2004. We now come to Don Center of Texas. Don is another member who has 28 of the 29 for the Super Slam and needs only the polar bear. Many U.S. members are hesitant to go to the Arctic for a polar bear since they're not importable into the country. We could recommend to Don and any of the rest of you who need a polar bear to consider this year's Raffle Rama which features a polar bear hunt as one of the choices. Maybe it'd be a little more palatable to go for the white bear and leave it in Canada if you want it rather than having to pay for it. Well, enough of the commercials. If you've been seeing some of Don's best photos, and they date all the way back to 1984, most of these photos were in fact taken in the 1980s when Don took the majority of his 28 North American big game trophies. We wanted to finish up with a much more recent shot. You'll be able to see what a difference more than 20 years makes in our looks when you see Don and his 2007 Thule Elk. He still, of course, his aunt's himself. Congratulations, Don. It's great to have you with us. Gary Silk of Michigan has a most unusual grouping for his Super 25. The four he's missing are Thule Elk, which is a common one to not be a part of a Super 25, and the other three are all sheep. Gary does have a doll sheep from 1996. Saying that, you of course realize he has all the bears, yes, including the polar bear, all the deer, all the caribou, and all the moose. Gary has both a musk ox and the bison that you see here, which was taken in Custer State Park, South Dakota in 2009. That should give you a good overview of Gary's Super 25. He has one or more trophies from each of five decades within the Super 25. Good for you, Gary, and good luck on the last four. Jonathan Wark of Pennsylvania has a Super 25 needing two bears and two sheep. That obviously means there's a whole lot of North American hunting in between, and Jonathan has gotten some great trophies within those 25. The first one you saw was a 2011 Central Canadian Barren Ground Caribou, and then an excellent Woodland Caribou from Newfoundland. You should check out his Alaska Yukon Moose from 2003. Moving along, he got a fine bison in 2009 and used his bow to do so. He used a bow to take his musk ox as well in 2002. 
to back up and show some of his earlier trophies, which was a home state Pennsylvania whitetail from 1998, and backing way up, we want to finish with his 1980 Montana elk and 1990 Wyoming mule deer. Butch White of Colorado was honored at last year's convention with two of our greatest awards. Butch was chosen to receive the 2012 Living Legend Award, and he also earned the 2012 Ovis. Butch started hunting as a lad, as evidenced by the photo of his 1950 mule deer he took in his home state of Colorado. The next photo is of his outstanding 1954 Alaska Yukon moose. To represent the 1960s, you've seen his 1969 barren ground caribou. As for the 1970s, we really have a treat of a photo to show you, as Butch got a pair of Jaguars in 1978, when it was still possible to do that. Moving along to the 1980s, we chose his 1988 Columbia Blacktail. Well now, moving into the 2000s, we have his 2002 Mule Deer, and finally, his 2010 Whitetail. Naturally, Butch didn't need either of these for his Super 25, as he had multiples, but they sure were good photos to show the progression of Butch's hunting now stretching into seven different decades. The famous Sportsman on Film series producer Ken Wilson of Texas is the next honoree for the Super 25. Actually, Ken only needs an Alaska brown bear to have checked off every box on the application, and he even has the Atlantic walrus. One of the last he added was a Thule elk from 2010. Most of this amazing lifetime of hunting has been documented in Ken's videos. Many of you will have seen Ken's videos about his 1983 Alaska Yukon moose hunt, as well as the different pronghorn videos that he did in the 1990s. We pulled a photo of Ken and his mountain lion from 1990, and his Canada and Shiras moose from 2001. Ken finally made the trip to the frozen Arctic for a polar bear in 2003. We wish Ken luck on getting the final trophy for the Super Slam, the Alaska Brown Bear. Thomas L. Zimmerman of Wisconsin began big game hunting in 1964 when he was 14. He took a Colorado mule deer on that hunt and he's certainly been after the big game animals since that time as he has a super 25. The vast majority of Tom's trophies have been taken in the last 15 years. You've already seen his 2004 cougar and his 2005 brown bear and Sitka blacktail. We also chose a 2007 pronghorn and Tom's 2009 woodland caribou to illustrate his milestone. To finish this salute, we chose an excellent photo of his 2010 Alaska Yukon moose and also a 2010 grizzly bear. That completes group two. Again, please make your way to the stage quickly. Now for our third group. We're most pleased to recognize Chuck Brewer of Colorado as having completed his Super 25 by bow. We always recognize archery milestones separately because frankly, we understand how difficult it is so many times to get close enough for a bow and arrow shot. Number 25 was actually a Roosevelt elk from October 2012. Number 24 for Chuck was an amazing Shiras moose from Colorado in September 2012. Chuck also took a Thule elk and a Columbia blacktail deer in August 2012 as number 22 and number 23. Now to back way up, we find one of the first archery trophies on his list, which was a black bear from 1987. You'll also see a very young Chuck with a 1988 Quebec Labrador caribou. Another 1988 trophy was Chuck's cougar, also from his home state of Colorado. We feel confident that Chuck has taken several whitetails with his bow. However, for his Super 25, he submitted a monster Kansas buck that he got back in 2006. Congratulations to Chuck on his archery Super 25 and an outstanding career in bow hunting, which includes Archery Grand Slam number 51 completed in 2010. We're most pleased to honor Warren Strickland of Alabama for his Archery Super 25. This man only hunts with a bow and has certainly taken his share of outstanding trophies over the years. As a matter of fact, we're going to show you several of those here and try to paint a picture of how he went from looking like a mere teenager to his present handsome self. In the packet he sent, he had multiple whitetails and mule deer. We're going to throw in some of those, but by the time you finish looking at all, we have to show you from Warren Strickland, one thing will be perfectly clear. He's an avid bow hunter. 
and has certainly been successful over the years. By the way, he was only the 25th person to complete an archery grand slam, and he did that back in 2006 with a stone sheep. Good luck, Warren, on the final four, which are the brown bear, coos whitetail, Sitka blacktail, and barren ground caribou. That concludes our final group. Please make your way to the stage quickly. Now let's give them one more round of applause.